Trump just blindsided everyone on welfare with sudden new rule effective now. Do you support this? Possibly one of the biggest reasons that Americans voted for President Trump was because he's successful in business. There is a lot of criticism that floats around about the man, but you can't argue with a net worth that totals in the billions. While he started in real estate, he's dabbled in all sorts of industries, and come out on top. The main thing that tells us this is that he knows how to balance a checkbook. The politics that have been inhabiting Washington for a very long time seem to have a confusion surrounding how to make the bottom line add up. While they're spending their time asking other countries for money, the American people got more and more fed up, and were won over by a political outsider who was even willing to work for free. Now, even with all the other big ticket issues in the spotlight, President Trump hasn't forgotten what he came to Washington to do, whip that budget into shape. Politico reports that the president is beginning that endeavor with a project that is likely to tick off millions of those dependent on the government for handouts. Trump administration officials are mulling an executive order that would instruct federal agencies to review low-income assistance programs, part of a coming effort to make sweeping changes to the country's welfare system. One of the officials said the draft order calls on agencies to review existing regulations and propose new rules that conform to a set of broad welfare principles, including tighter work requirements that encourage recipients to shift back into the labor force. The phrase shift back to the labor force is diplomacy speak for if you can work, please do. In fact, Earlier in the year the White House Office of Management and Budget Director Mick Mulvaney told reporters if you're on food stamps and able-bodied, we need you to go to work. That seems pretty clear to me. If you're concerned about the reason behind this newfound interest in the welfare program, have no fear, there's a really great one. With almost 68 million Americans on government assistance of some kind, welfare takes up much of the government's budget. Because of that astronomical sum, when anyone tries to do tax reform, they have to look at welfare and how the two will work together. The initiative comes as President Donald Trump shifts attention to his ambitious tax reform initiative in the wake of his failed effort to repeal Obamacare. Administration backers of the welfare executive order hope he signs it before Thanksgiving, one of the officials said. Trump mentioned the issue in both his January inaugural address and his February speech to a joint session of Congress. Millions lifted from welfare to work is not too much to expect, Trump said in his February remarks. It seems worth noting that what the president is doing, is something that he campaigned on and promised he would do. So many government officials just say what they know the people want to hear, and then go do whatever they want to do or are told to do when they get into office. One huge problem that the politicians in Washington are having with the POTUS is that he's not easily manipulated. He doesn't need money, he is already elected, and if he doesn't get re-elected, he'll go back to his business ventures and be A-OK. -okay. This makes it difficult to manipulate him, so they block him. No matter whether it's something the people want, if it doesn't help their agenda, the Washington insiders will put an end to it. But another official cautioned that the conversations about the order are very preliminary at this stage, adding that the final outcome is uncertain. The order has not yet gone through the strict policy vetting process put in place by White House Chief of Staff John Kelly. We aren't going to comment on rumors about future potential executive orders, White House spokeswoman Natalie Strom said in an email. When we have something to release, we'll let you know. Welfare reform might seem like a tall order, and that's because it is. It's been over 20 years since the last reform took place, and we're overdue. Administration officials have been talking to members of Congress for months to discuss a border effort to rethink the government's welfare programs. The last major welfare reform came in 1996, under President Bill Clinton. Rep. Jim Jordan Republican Ohio, and Senator Mike Lee, Republican Utah, have introduced wide-ranging legislation that would make changes to welfare programs, including by imposing tighter work requirements on recipients of food stamps, also known as the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. 
This could end up being a great thing for Americans who have been carrying the burden of hundreds of millions in tax dollars going toward an extremely bloated welfare system that is being constantly exploited. Both Rep. Jordan and Sen. Lee said that they would like to go back to an older model that would put new work requirements and limits on welfare recipients. If that doesn't make every hard-working American dance for joy, I don't know what will. We work hard for our money, it sure seems like everyone else should have to as well. As well.